Hey, Earth scientists. Today, we're going on a journey to learn more about how Earth's landscapes are always changing. Wind, water, plants, ice, and even animals can be such powerful forces that they actually change the environments around us. Sometimes these changes happen very slowly, and sometimes they happen very quickly. In this video, we will answer some puzzling questions like, what made this strange rock formation? How was the Grand Canyon formed? And what is messing up the roads and the sidewalks in my neighborhood? So stay tuned. It's time to dig into three important topics, weathering, erosion, and deposition. And don't forget, if you want to keep exploring these ideas after the video is over, you can download all of these fun activities using the link in the description. Okay, so first up, let's talk about weathering. Weathering is when rocks are broken down into smaller pieces. We call these smaller pieces sediment. Weathering can be caused by water, air, and even plants and animals. If we imagine weathering as a cartoon character, they would be a character who loves to break rocks into lots of smaller pieces. Water can be one powerful force when it comes to weathering rock. Over long periods of time, water can slowly carve valleys deeper and deeper into the Earth's surface. That's actually how the Grand Canyon was created. Over time, creeks, streams, and rivers can break down rock and create new valleys in the landscape. Ice can also be a powerful force for shaping rock. Let's take a look at what happens when water gets into the small cracks of a rock. If the temperatures get cold enough, the water will turn into ice and expand. Over time, this expansion will break the rock apart and create smaller pieces of sediment. Sometimes ice just creates small breaks in rock, but at other times it can be powerful enough to completely split a large rock into two pieces. And cracks in rock can also be caused by plants. For example, when roots of trees reach further underground to absorb more water, they can slowly break apart the rock below them like this. So next time you see cracks in the street or in the sidewalk, think about which of these forces might have been responsible for the damage. Finally, there's wind. Wind can pick up sediment like small rocks and sand and blow the sediment against larger rocks. This process can slowly weather them and change their shape. This type of weathering is called abrasion. This kind of weathering is actually how rock formations like these were created. Now let's talk about erosion. Erosion is the movement of sediment from one place to another. If we imagine erosion as a cartoon character, they would be a character who picks up small pieces of rock and sand and carries them from one place to another. Forces like water, wind, and gravity can carry sediment away after rocks have been broken down into smaller pieces. Think of a river carrying sand and pebbles downstream, or wind blowing sand across a desert. That's erosion in action. Finally, we have deposition. Deposition happens when the sediment settles down or gets deposited in a new place. You can imagine deposition as all the little pieces of sediment. Once they've found a new home and decided to settle down. Deposition can carry sediment and create new landforms, like deltas at the mouth of a river, or sand dunes in a desert. Now you know how weathering, erosion, and deposition shape the world around us. If you'd like to keep digging into this topic, you can keep learning with the resources linked in the description. And don't forget to check out the other Earth Science videos on our channel. Well, that's all for now. It really helps if you subscribe or maybe just leave a like. Those two things greatly assist the channel in reaching more learners.